So many videos are talking about 3D printing and you gotta buy all these tools and have these amazing setups so you can start your business. But for me in the first year, it has started with testing. Basic things like, you know, when you get into photography, they say don't go out and buy all the equipment right away. Focus on it and learn it. I'm with a P1S Bamboo and it's been an amazing printer. And sometimes it all begins with which printer you actually choose is the one that's gonna make it or break it with regards to your patients. And the Bamboo based printers are top of the line. They're the Sony of them, as they say. And I can't say enough about it with their support and everything that came around. Right now I'm printing a Moroccan lamp and I'm gonna learn the cut feature. So where you can stop it at a certain point and then uh, make a second one and then glue it together. It's gonna be my first project. But aside from that, the point is you gotta le learn a studio, Bamboo Studio, which is proprietary based 3D, free 3D modeling software that comes with it. You have a smorgasbord of free models that you can learn to print. And that's really what it's about, starting to print and learning how to do it. Forget all the fancy things, buy some filaments and learn how to print. Basics, a simple thing that's flat and then you can put some stick, put it on the wall. And But then you might even be a Star Wars fan and you get into printing a helmet, which I had to go for the Boba Fett one. I haven't even sanded it down and completed it yet and glued it. This is one of my first ones and that really started the inspiration phase where I plan to do this this winter and make this cool thing so I can go out in the snow. So having inspirational projects is part of it. You know, two basic things where you can use the studio's maker and you can print signs that you just put in a word and away you go. Gift giving um, is huge with it and you'll get so much out of it other than going and doing something really complicated like a short circuit where he's got his own wheels and you learn to paint with acrylic pens. And I'm gonna put some of these uh, links down below actually so you can actually get this because sometimes you don't gotta paint with a paintbrush. It's uh, pretty cool. But really, learning about the filaments and, you know, with regards to bamboo and sometimes you have reusable spools. You can print these, by the way, and then you don't got to spend as much money where the spool comes with it. So there are all these little tips that you can do, but honestly, tools and the th nature of the crafts from alcohol spray to clean your, your deck to the right glue, Gorilla all the way, you know, glue stick for using when you use PET G versus PLA. A nice microfiber based cloth has come a long way. So start printing, buy a dryer. Dryers help everything, get the moisture out of it so you can actually print. These are just some of the tips. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, once again, start printing. Never stop printing or take a time off from printing. You might get dismayed, but come back when you're inspired because that's what it's all about with using all of these things together that you start with the basics.